Moving to Tokyo in 2009 is one of the scariest things I've ever done. Before I moved to Tokyo, I was living in a small town called Hamamatsu in Japan in the Shizuoka prefecture. And I remember like, you know, I was kind of going a little bit crazy there, you know, even though I was teaching English and it was fun every day when I was on a train, I would just ask myself, you know, am I doing the right thing? And when I had a break, I'd walk up to the roof at the top of the school and look out and just be like, yo, I want to be out there doing something, shooting something, like doing something crazy and active, you know, I felt kind of trapped. I still had one year left on my visa, so I packed up all my stuff and I just went to Tokyo. So right now you're probably asking yourself, well, what does this have to do with talent? Well, for me, Tokyo represented a crossroads in my life. I mean, when I went to Tokyo, I was searching, man. I, I didn't know which one of my talents or skills was going to take me towards the future I wanted to create. All right, so this is kind of like how I look at it. You know, think of like the destination as the ultimate goal. Like, what do you want to do with your life? Where do you want to reach? Let's say I have three major talents. Each talent is like a track, essentially. So when I look at it for myself, you know, it's like one, one talent could take you all the way to destination. They could either like merge and take you to a destination or all three of them could lead you to where you're trying to go. The very first time I realized that there is a viable lifestyle when it comes to like photography and film was when I went on tour with Maxi Priest in 2009. I'd never done anything like that before and I was just like, whoa, people travel around to different countries, take, take photos and videos and this is like a thing. I didn't even know that. And it, it gave me like my first view into like potentially doing this as a career choice. But if I flash back to 2008, which was just a year before, I was actually in New York at the time doing a writing internship for Comedy Central. So writing was one of my talents as well. And at the same time, I also got into this program that took me to Cannes, France, based on a script I submitted to them for like consideration. So trust me, man, I was working the tracks. And then the third thing for me is design, you know, like I make shirts and I had a little brand I was trying to build and I had to ask myself when I went to Tokyo, like, how is this all going to converge? And I remember when I did a speech called Untitled Design during Design Week in 2010 in Tokyo, I was actually kind of positing some of that out there. So your Untitled Design is what you're trying to kind of find as a creative individual. And this picture represents for me the moment when I really took steps towards my creative journey. I had a lot of questions going on in my brain and I was wondering what I wanted to do and for some reason this picture like speaks to me about that moment when I started and usually when you have question marks over your head uh, you have no labels you're asking yourself like what am I you know like who am I what am I trying to do where am I trying to go and uh, whenever you have labels and you can't answer the question you start thinking about your, your personal ambitions you start thinking about what am I trying to achieve? What am I trying to do? So for me, I kind of visualize ambition like uh, this picture here. It's like a cliff with different tiers. And depending on what you're trying to achieve, you're gonna you know, have to go to a higher level. Uh, as you, you know, search for that creative thing, you're untitled design. So for me, whenever I was in a place like Egypt or Korea, or just sitting on a park bench in Tokyo, you know, I said to myself, if things change, how can I keep doing exactly what I'm doing right now? How can my talents take me to the destination I see? How can it create the life I want, right? And my number one suggestion, I think, if you are a multi-talented, multifaceted individual, is kind of just look at what other people do. What do other photographers and videographers do or um, designers do nowadays to kind of like raise their brand up? Do they all have media companies? Do they all create intellectual property? Are they making courses? Are they giving talks? Are they doing things that you are not doing specifically and you have the same skill set? And I think now is the greatest time to learn because it's all out there. Irene Rujic, she's a photographer on internet. She shows all her shoots and how she shoots everything. She breaks it down and it's a really great brand. You know what I mean? Casey Nice had obviously had, had his software company and showed you how he was building it, you know, it starts up and stuff. There's so many ways that people can kind of tell their story right now. And I'm trying to do the same thing. And I thought about it recently. I'm like, yo, you know, I've done books, I've done design. And I'm like, let's talk about multi-talented people and potentially what you can do to change. All right, that's the video for today. Catch you later.
because they don't speak Japanese. <laughs>